Most people know Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from his celebrated movie roles such as Aeroplane and Forget Paris. But did you know he's also a political activist and the author of mystery novels? I didn't until I sat down with him for this conversation. Nothing's recently divided Americans more than social activism in professional sports. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out. And today's biggest sports stars aren't backing down. I knew that my voice and my platform had to be used for more than just sports. But I found out these athlete activists are following in the footsteps of one trailblazing legend, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He fought on the front lines during the civil rights movement, boycotting the 1968 Olympics to protest the unjust treatment of African Americans, which helped earn him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And he wasn't just any player. He was a three-time NCAA champion, a six-time NBA champion, and the all-time leading scorer. So I sat down to go one-on-one -on -one with the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Do you see any uh, parallels between your protests and what Kaepernick did? I'm really impressed with the way that he's uh, affected young people across the country because if you reach a few people, they might reach a few other people yeah. and we, we're starting a discourse and we're realizing that uh, our fellow citizens might not look like us, but we got the same thing happening in here and in here. And that's what counts, yeah. you know? There's certain things about America that I'll never be on board with, right? I can't stand for God Bless America. I can do it for the Star Spangled Banner, but you're, not, you're just not allowed two national anthems. Everyone else has one. Speaking of an obnoxious excuse for nationalism that I won't stand for, Donald Trump is a common target in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's columns, which earned him a formal presidential rebuke in the form of a c***y note. Donald Trump wrote you back, and you have it here, on top of your letter, and I'll just read it very quickly. Kareem, now I know why the press always treated you so badly. They couldn't stand you. The fact is that you don't have a clue about life and what has to be done to make America great again. Best wishes, Donald Trump. Best wishes, so you're friends? <laughs> if they could get a handwriting expert onto this, that's serial killer shit right there. <laughs> But yeah, have you ever seen when he like signs a building and he has to like, oh look, I can write my name. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I signed it. I signed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Donald Trump once said in a tweet, Obama said in his speech that Muslims are sports heroes. What sport is he talking about and who is Obama profiling? Now I can't think of any Muslim sporting heroes. Shaquille O'Neal. Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, yeah. Uh, let's see, there's a gentleman that was the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. His name was uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. He might have heard about him. We, we, we didn't get everything in Australia, so Ali. You believe uh, that any good can come out of this administration? It might help in uh, giving us a, a clear idea of what we don't want. Yeah, because maybe there's an argument that we were getting a bit complacent. We can elect people into and out of office. That's a wonderful thing. Not only is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right about our power to affect change at the ballot box, but he'd get my vote to put him at the top of one hotly debated list. Are you the greatest player of all time? Uh, I feel that I should be in the conversation. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, can you list all the things that you do better than Michael Jordan? <laughs> Are you better at fiction writing? Probably. I admire this, that you wrote fiction. I enjoy the challenge, right. and I've been able to do quality work. For a while, the MJ had the, the Hitler moustache. What was all that about? You've never done that. Oh, Remember yeah. when he had that era? And he was doing underwear commercials. So when I was a kid, <laughs> I knew you as the guy that, that Bruce Lee beat the shit out of. I love that scene, man, where you're just wearing, like, the black sunglasses and he's punching you in the head and the sunglasses never fly off. <laughs> I've been in a couple of films and I've stopped acting, not through my choice, the general public decided. <laughs> sure, I may never be a Hall of Fame athlete or a movie star or a civil rights icon or write a book or join the writing staff of Veronica Mars, for f**k's sake! But that doesn't mean I can't live out one lifelong dream. I learned how to do sky. No, get out of the way. Oh, I'm in the way? I thought that was the whole point. No, the whole point is 
to, is to start with no one in the way. Okay. You do it like that, okay. and like that. All right, enough of this layup crap. I'll show him how it's done. <laughs> I bet you're shit at telling jokes. 